which is just hovering right at like 29 volts, 29 and a half. You can see we are definitely overcharging our batteries. Well, what a beautiful November day. And it's the perfect time to go work on our LMTV because it still has some charging issues that I think I've got the parts to fix for it. But what a perfect vehicle to take other than our patrol. Hopefully it starts, it's, little, it's been a little bit. If you guys wanna see more on this truck, more than happy to do a couple videos on it. It's gonna be in a couple later episodes because we're gonna put a big giant motor in it. That's bigger than the stock one. But hopefully it fires up. Ooh, she looks a little low on battery. Please start. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, had to order these in. Hopefully these are our problem. We've got two in there right now, but the truck takes four. And they're kind of a specialty battery, so hopefully that is our issue with our overcharging problem. So I mentioned in our last video that we have an overcharging problem with the truck. It runs right about 30 to 31 volts. It's a 28 volt alternator, but it has a 14 volt regulator on top that'll bring the voltage back down. If you're running like a 12 volt system and these lights are 12 volts on this truck and I believe the rest of it is 24 or 28 volts. So currently we only have two batteries in here and I've jumped it over to make 24 volts. I'm hoping that adding the rest of them, having all four batteries in the system will bring the voltage down. What my theory is, is without having these two other batteries in place, the alternator is basically going to full voltage or full load because there's nowhere for it to go. At least that's my theory and it needs four batteries anyway, so we have really nothing to lose. But hopefully that is the problem and adding all four batteries in the system will make it work correctly. So what do you think, Bomba? You think it'll fix it having four batteries? Yes. Yeah? Optimistic, I like it. <laughs> uh -huh. So we got all four batteries mounted up. It took us a little bit. I had to look up on a forum called Steel Soldiers. They have a diagram on how these batteries all line up. Now this kind of adds to my theory here of only having two batteries affecting our charging system. So it does have a 12 volt circuit that goes into these four batteries. It goes up and down and connects here to this first battery on the right hand side. We only had two batteries running. So basically our 12 volt circuit was just being deadheaded with nowhere to, for the load to go from the alternator. So I'm really hoping that having four batteries and having somewhere for that load to go in the 12 volt circuit brings down our voltage. I really think it will fix that problem. Everything mounted in there perfectly. We even have the battery hold down. We just need to add a little nut to the back of that. That'll hold those batteries in nice and secure. We did test for voltage and we have a good 24 volts on our switch in the top of the cab, which should be correct. Now we really just need to fire it up and make sure we tighten down all of our battery hold downs and we should be good. I'm really hoping that that is the problem because these alternators are not cheap. One of these alternators for this truck to buy a new one is like $3,000. So really hoping that the batteries fixed it and we needed to get the batteries anyway. We couldn't just run two, which I guess in a normal 24 volt system, you probably could get away with two batteries, but with that 12 volt circuit in there, I think that's really affecting the performance of that alternator. We got 24 volts. Let's just fire it up, see if it fixes it. Hitting right. 
right at 28 volts. Now we're just gonna hope that it doesn't trail off over here. So it's hovering. She's still in the green, but she's right in between 28 and 30 volts. Just gonna do a little test here. charging right at 30 volts it's not really going past that so it could be because our batteries were a little low and it's trying to equalize it's a 28 volt alternator so i ran it for about 20 more minutes and it's the voltage comes out it started actually coming down and it's hovering right at like 28.8 volts to 29 volts so i think we're okay I'm gonna go take this thing for a spin though. It needs a bunch of diesel. It's on um, the E mark. So we're gonna go and load this thing up and run it down to the gas station. Well, we almost made a huge mistake. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. We filled up our that rear diff yesterday, and I was thinking I was forgetting something, but we definitely forgot to put the drain plug in it, or the fill plug. That could have been bad. Good thing I remembered right when I was backing up. I'm like, I know I'm forgetting something. And then I was like, oh yes, we need to do that. So that's full now, and it's gonna stay full and not make a huge giant mess and blow up our diff. So now we should be good to go to the fuel station. Got the multimeter. Now I believe these two batteries should charge our lights. dead pretty much and then the back two should charge yeah see we got a problem see we're pushing acid out of our battery so we are definitely overcharging turn that off so we're definitely overcharging our batteries we're starting to push acid out of them that's a problem Shut it off. Now this is kind of odd, watch this. So I let this thing shut off for a little bit and then I turn this back on. 
So we should be at 24 volts. Definitely too high. But watch this. See, that's pretty odd. So last time I started it, it backed off and went down to about 27 volts and then jumped back up. See, and it's still, it's starting to go down a little bit now too. So now we're reading just above 28 volts. I wonder if we got a bad ground somewhere. I'm gonna go get this cab tilted up and we're gonna clean all those connections on that regulator and see if that's our problem. Because now we're a little bit below where we should be at. Odd. How do you believe me when I said I was gonna be a pro cab jacker offer? Yeah, we still got a problem for sure. One of the batteries is starting to leak. Yep. Yeah, the acid is coming out of one of the batteries. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's overcharging. So let's, we're gonna go. We need to take all those connections off the alternator. Yep. It's clean them really good because it's kind of bouncing. I, I fired it up when I was driving it in here. Mm -hmm. It went back down to 28 volts exactly, mm -hmm. and then it kicked back up. Oh. So I wonder if we got a bad ground or something. I mean, with this truck being from Hawaii, it could be corroded. Pro cab jacker offer. <laughs> Wanna try? No. I think that, that's the pump, no? Yeah, pump's bad. I think our problem's the alternator for sure. Oh. 100%. Okay, you don't have a new red house? No. Because it's that weird 12 volt or 14 volt, 28 volt military weird thing. That is good. No, oh, it's 14 and 28. Oh, okay, 14 and 28. So, let's just clean all the connections really good yes. mm -hmm. and see if that fixes it. Everything, okay. Because this alternator is $4,000 if we have to buy one, so, yeah. A little too expensive for me. Mm -hmm. So one of these wires is going to make it go full party mode, which is should be our Excite wire. L35, it's probably, it's one of, it's this wire right here is the Excite wire. So right here, they've got it kind of tied in to some other stuff. So it's number, number 97. 97L is our Excite wire. This is the 24 volt side. See. Yeah, too much. Mm -hmm. See, 26 volts overcharging our batteries. So, technically, I think if we take if we take this wire off, it should. Uh, Let's see one. Yeah, if, it should not do okay. anything. It should kick it off. I don't see any super heavy corrosion. Here's a corroded a little bit on this wire. Everything seems to look pretty okay. There could be some corrosion inside of here that's doing something. It's definitely warm. We're not having any load on it at all. It's pretty warm. Test these connectors. Those look all pretty clean. All of these connectors look. Probably try cleaning those up a little bit. I wonder what the inside of that thing looks like. What do you think, Bombay? Do we take it off? Yes. Should, we, should we take it off and take mm -hmm. it apart and yep. see if it's full of full of mm -hmm. rust or something? I just really wish I knew how it worked. It's a little hot, right? Yeah, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be that hot. It's too warm. Maybe we try, let's try this, cleaning this first. Okay. And let's clean the connections because we can run it with the cab up like this. So we'll clean all this and then fire it back up and see if that changes anything. Definitely some heavy corrosion on the ground. The wire itself doesn't look bad inside. Maybe we clean up that a little bit. 
first sign of something that's not the greatest if that's causing a bad ground. A little bit better connection. Just gonna do that with the rest of these. Then we'll try and fire it up one more time. If that doesn't fix it, I think we'll take this thing apart. We have nothing to lose, it's not working anyway. Let's just take it apart and see if we can figure something out. You think you can take it apart? Yes. <laughs> I'll take that as 100% guarantee. So all of our connectors are cleaned up. I took every single connector off, cleaned it. Short of just pulling it off and trying to get it to go that way. Let's find out. Okay. Break the door off in the process. If I can even get in here, I need to lower it back down a little bit. Take two. Let's lower it down a little bit. Take two. Now, let's see if it does anything. Ready, Bomba? Okay. She's chilling right at 28 volts. Please fix it. Well, now we're partying right below 28. fix it. We are back to square one. We're just right in the danger zone. Well, I guess we're pulling an alternator off of an LMTV. Nothing more than I like than working on electrical systems. We got nothing to lose. Let's get it pulled off and see if we can fix it. Well, I believe we found our smoking gun. Here is the voltage regulator. Bolts onto the top of the alternator. That looks smoked. Don't have one of those. I'll have to order one of them. But I think that's our problem. Hopefully I can find one of these. I've been looking online and it seems like these are kind of hard to come by, so... Hopefully I can figure something out. So I believe this is our smoking gun. I took it apart. You can see in there, she had a little bit of a fire. It's a voltage regulator, it sits right on top of the alternator. I'm willing to bet this is our problem. Found one on eBay, 400 bucks, found a new one. Which, if you really look at everything, a new one is $4,000 for a complete alternator. When we only need the regulator, because it's obviously charging, it charges way too much. That should fix our problem. I need like a battery voltage regulator sponsor. Anyone out there wants to you know, give one to the cause. I guess it's too late, I already bought one. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. All in all, I think we're still doing pretty good for an $800 truck. We have some shipping involved. This is really the only major part that it needed so far. So now we gotta wait for it to be shipped. It's somewhere back east, so it'll probably take a week or so to get it. But yeah, definitely think that's our problem. I'm gonna wrap the video up right here. Appreciate you guys watching and hopefully you're enjoying the videos. It's really too bad we couldn't fix it the same, you know, same video we couldn't have it fixed. But at least I think we found the problem that's Yeah, I think we got I, I think we got her licked. So wrapping the video up right here. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Or I'll see you when we get the voltage regulator.